Hey there, we'll be taking a look at your website's general settings. These settings can be found in your website's admin area by navigating to Settings and General Settings in the left-hand menu. In here, we have six tabs, General, Brand Images, Social Media, Localization, Search Settings, and Integrations. So the first thing I wanna show you is in the top left corner of the admin area, you'll find a dropdown with your website's name. In here, you'll see your website ID number, the status of your website, which website plan you currently have, as well as the URL of your website. Now, if you manage more than one website within the platform, you can always click this button, see all my websites, to toggle to the one you wanna work on. Okay, now that we have that covered, let's jump back into the general settings. So in this first general tab are some of the most basic settings that you'll wanna configure for your website, such as website name, phone number, the default email address, the status of your website, whether you want it to be live or in staging mode, whether or not you want the website to be visible to search engines, as well as one important setting if you're located within the EU. If you're located in the EU, or if you're collecting information from users within Europe, you'll want to enable the GDPR settings. All this setting does is enable some consent fields on forms that users will submit on your website, such as the registration form, member upgrade form, newsletter signup form, etc. And the final two specific settings I want to show you in the general tab are industry name and profession name. These two settings are variables, so the text you put into these two settings will display in some various areas on the front end of your website. But as an example, if you're building a directory for the interior design industry, then for the industry name, you'd want to enter interior design. And for the profession name, you'd want to enter interior designer, since that is what you would refer to the professionals within this industry as. Next, let's take a look at the brand images tab. In here, you can add your own brand images for the website, such as your website logo, favicon, some default member photos. If you want to have a specific badge for verified members, the logo you want to be displayed in your website's email templates, you can customize the pin drop icon that's displayed on live Google Maps on your website, as well as a few others. Now, if we go into the social media tab, here's where you can enter the URLs for your various social media profiles, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and more. All you need to do is copy the URL of your profile on one of these social media platforms and paste it into the corresponding setting here. Once you do that, an icon will be displayed either in the header of your website or the footer, depending on which you enable. And that icon, when clicked, will take website visitors to your profile on that social media platform. Next, in the localization tab, we have several settings relating to the location of your website. So you can set your primary country, the time zone of your website, which format you want dates on your website to be displayed in, the language of your website, which will be used for various integrations such as Google Maps and reCAPTCHA, which unit you want distance to be measured in, as well as some important currency settings. So you can set the default website currency as well as the currency number format. So if your currency happens to use commas instead of periods or vice versa, you can choose that format here. Next, in the search settings tab, this is where we can configure the settings for searches that are conducted on your website. So you can customize the default member search URL. You can choose whether you want members who only have completed filling out their profiles to display in search results on your website. Default search radius, whether or not you want location-based searches to be strict matches, or if you wanna leave them a little broad so that users can view more search results than they otherwise would have been presented with. And lastly, if we go into the integrations tab, it's important to keep in mind that these settings are reliant on the live domain being connected to your website because it includes standard integrations like Google Analytics, Maps, and Spam Protection, which all first require the domain to be connected to your website. And finally, if you're looking for a specific setting but can't seem to find it navigating through these tabs, you can always use the keyword search here in the top right-hand corner. So for example, if we type in radius and we go to the search settings tab, you can see all the settings that have to do with radius. And that's it. If you have questions, please reach out at any time. Our team is always happy to help and support you.